ourselves does this thing really work and today we have like a surprise Dyson product I had no idea that Dyson was about to either bless us or curse us with a new their with a new their super expensive hair styling tool today we are testing out the Dyson flat iron which is called the Dyson Corelle I don't I don't know why they've spelled Corral in this way I do believe that it is pronounced Corral I live in Texas I've seen many a Corral yeehaw it's never spelled like that I'm not sure if it's just like the sad sick news of the world that we've been bombarded with like maybe that's why like the Dyson hair straightener news just fell completely by the wayside I have heard nothing about this if you guys have been here for all of the Dyson hairstyling lore you probably remember the Dyson hair dryer we tested this out a couple of years ago or the Dyson air wrap which we also tested out a couple years ago but I feel like both of these items were highly anticipated I I saw people mentioning them everywhere on Instagram articles months before they dropped. I would not have known except for thank you so much to so many SWAT family members that like tweeted me about this product and y'all were just like it is out now please test it out. I have already taken it out of the box. The coolest feature about this hair straightener to me is that you can use it cordless for 30 minutes. We had two different colorways and I love this color. I think it was just called purple. So I'm sure you guys can see it is like a super, I feel like it's almost like glowing. It is also heavy like the weight of this like when I got the box in the mail I was like oh uh it's just so heavy because of all of the packaging and the other no it is just heavy I think it says on the box it's 2.8 pounds this is like roughly it feels the same as when I'm like lifting my laptop just get a little workout here while I straighten my hair does anyone else just feel like Dyson is trolling us just a little bit with the pricing. This thing is $500, $500. I'm gonna be real with you guys. If I was not a YouTuber, if I was not making this YouTube video, there is no way, there is just no way that I would spend $500 on a hair straightener. You do get a like kind of cool charging dock. Didn't do it that well, but you guys get you guys get the picture, you know? Also kind of heavy. So yeah, I did already obviously take it out. I wanted to go ahead and charge it up so that I could do the demo with you guys today. Cordless, it takes 70 minutes to completely charge the battery entirely so that you get the full 30 minutes of cordless operation. There is like a locking feature on the side here and there's also this really weird like airplane travel mode like you pop this out and then the battery detaches so that you can take it on a plane did you guys know the Dyson guy is a knight he's a sir why does that make him more trustworthy to me I was literally just freaking great mouse detective trying to figure out why they justify a $500 price tag with this. Some of the technology that they were describing that this hair straightener has versus what other hair straighteners do not have. So one of the things is it is supposed to be able to more effectively straighten your hair using lower amounts of heat. Your hair is actually being exposed to temperatures 20 degrees less than what you set it at. And then the other big difference and the reason that they call it the corral is that it corrals your hair all together in the center of the plate and they said that it does that through the flexible plate technology. You can actually press on the plates. I hope you guys can see this. And there is some flexibility there. Can you guys see that? And I have just a normal hair straightener here to show you guys that obviously, you know, these plates don't have actual frickin' Lee. Sir Dyson. Ugh, see these have flexibility too. 
was I just duped? I think people like get irritated that I approach these Dyson products a little bit more critically. But really, I just want to know. I just want to know why are they $500? You know, I feel like it's okay to be a little bit more critical of why a hair straightener should be $500 versus $50. $25, even $100 if you want to get like fancy with the plates and all of that jazz. I was like, oh yeah, flexible plates. That sounds like something new, but it's kind of not. I mean, look at all of the flexibility. Now I've had this one forever. This is just a little Amica hair straightener, you know, which is a nice brand. I feel like that's a nice brand. And these are like super flexible. Belinda stealing the show back here. I have not only my natural hair that we're going to try this on today, uh, but I also have my wig here because I feel like maybe this has a little bit of a curlier texture to it than my hair does. So it popped up letting me know I have a full battery. I don't know what the poking motion is. Oh, it's telling me to like heat it up. Ooh, this is like heating up instantly. So um, this has three heat settings, 330, 365, 410. But look at that, it says it's at 410 degrees already. Wow, my hair is freshly washed. I just washed it today. I just have it up in a sassy bun. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys the state of my hair. I know, I know it looks a little ragged. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get it cut. You guys can see my hair is normally a little bit more naturally wavy than it is now, but it is so ungodly long that like the weight of my hair really just pulls all of the natural curl out. I know I should not use like 400 degrees on my hair, but hey, YOLO, I am 900 years old. So what I'm gonna do is I have like parted these two sections of hair and I have this Amika hair straightener that I was just showing you guys. I have it um, cranked up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, so just a little bit hotter. And I'm gonna do one side with this hair straightener and one side with the new Dyson. And we can do kind of like a side-by-side real-time evaluation because I will be honest, even with this hair straightener all the way up to 450 degrees, I usually have to do three or four passes if I want my hair to be like completely nice, smooth, flat, and straight. So I know that is like a terrible thing to say, but usually for me, the biggest like point of sale is how fast can I get it done? Especially somebody like me with super long hair. I usually do like consider speed before like how damaging or not damaging is it to the hair. We all have different priorities. My hair is of course all brushed through, tangle free, and I'm just gonna take a small, you know, that's like one inch, that's normally what they tell you. Let's give it a go. So you guys can see like the end of my hair is where it has the most curl to it. That is a really nice straight. <laughs> I don't know what you would call the, the act of straightening the hair. I really don't feel like I need to do a second pass, so I don't know why I am doing a second pass, but there you have it. I feel like that's pretty straight. I'm gonna take like a bigger section of hair because just being honest, it's not like when I am actually styling my own hair, I'm like, oh, let me take one inch sections exactly and work all the way through my hair. Maybe some people live their life like that, but I just literally grab sections of hair and try and speed straighten through it. So here we go, a thicker section. And I feel like that is actually really impressive. Let me see what happens if I just straighten this whole section. And I am actually really, really impressed with that. I feel like it honestly does corral the hair in the center. So that is one of the things that I guess they were saying contributes to more hair damage. They say that normal flat irons kind of just smush the hair in between the two plates. 
so that it like splays out so that it is not evenly distributing the heat all at once through the section of hair, if that makes any sense. So it is supposed to be like somehow pushing and corralling the hair into the center plate section. I'm gonna have to say, it seems to be doing just that. Even when I am grabbing super large chunks of hair, I mean, how thick would we say this is? Four, five inches? Even when I am just like pushing thicker than you should probably ever straighten at one time, it's not squeezing outside of the parameters of the plate. That's pretty impressive. The hair feels very sleek and smooth. I'm sure you guys can see, I can definitely run my fingers through it a lot easier than my unstraightened hair. It's like, I feel like I wanted to be more critical. I don't know, I feel, I feel like I want to, I want to love it and I sort of want to hate it at the same time because once again, I am really just looking for reasons to justify $500. I guess it is all of the proprietary technology, which I can like nod my head to that, very impressive, but I just don't really think that that's a super reasonable price point. Y'all just weigh in on that down below. Oh, look, it is squeezing out. I feel like the hair is sort of escaping here. And what do you guys feel like? I feel like on the first pass, it did look a little sleeker with the Dyson. I did have to make several more passes on this traditional hair straightener side to get it as sleek as the Dyson side. Another thing that I am now noticing in comparison of the two is that my hair feels a lot hotter for a longer period of time, even after I have stopped straightening it. As soon as I got done passing the Dyson through my hair on this side, my hair immediately felt almost room temperature, whereas my hair on this side still feels quite a bit warm. My hair feels sleeker on this side than this side. That's another thing that's kind of cool about this. Did you guys just hear that ding, ding, ding? You'll hear it again. See, it's cooling down. I think it has like a sensor where it's like if you're not actively doing this, it starts to power down. It still looks like it's losing heat. So now I'm having to turn it back up. It seems to have about, I would say a five minute. Now it just turned itself off. Oh no. Okay. Now it's saying it's all the way heated back up. It has about a five minute like dormant period where if you set it down in five minutes, it starts to deescalate in heat and eventually power off. At the end of the day, both sides of my hair are straight. Am I imagining this? Um, it kind of does look like healthier or something on this side versus this side. Does it look $500 better? I don't know. The other quick thing that I'm gonna test on my hair really quick before I move on to the wig, they say that you can do waves and then like kind of loose beachy curls, which is cool, but you can do that exact same thing with any other hair straightener. So for me, it is kind of cool that they do have like little instructional videos on YouTube, how to achieve like beachy waves or loose beach curls. Doesn't add to the value to me, if that makes any sense. Cause it's not like you can only do that with this hair straightener and not with others. So you're supposed to put it in your hair and turn and then turn and then turn, turn. They say two inches. I don't think I'm doing two inches. I really feel like this is gonna be impossible to do on my hair because it's so long, it's so heavy. <laughs> Did that do anything? Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, that is actually like very impressive that it even was able to do that on my length of hair, but that would fall out in five seconds flat. I'm just being honest with you guys. In my past couple of videos, maybe you guys could tell, tried to do like a little bit of ringlet curls on the bottom of it to make everything blend in so wonderfully with my little bangs and the curls, like full ringlet curls with hairspray lasted maybe a couple of hours max. My hair is just too long. Should I try and cut it myself? It's been a very long time since I have tried to curl my hair with a flat iron. So I'm probably not doing it right. I remember when she like first started doing instructions 
or like little instructional videos or I don't know people found this out on YouTube that you could like curl your hair with a flat iron and it was like the latest news I don't know I didn't do that right or my hair is too long it almost like started to do something but alas it did not struggling here okay I think you're just supposed to actually go like that and then somehow it curls <laughs> Oh, I'm not playing with a full deck, you guys. Be gentle with me. Yeah, it's like literally just getting stuck in there. The instructional videos, honestly, I don't think either of the models has longer than shoulder length hair. I don't really necessarily think that that is meant for people with like butt length hair. All right. Belinda, come on down. Also, I thought it would be funny to put these fake eyeballs on her give her a little makeover, but she looks like freaking Judge Doom from Roger Rabbit, which I think is the first time that a movie actually traumatized me in my life. You know, when I think it's like when he gets exposed to the dip and he's like, Ugh, it's like Christopher Lloyd. I almost said Christopher Walken. Then I almost said Christopher Lloyd Webber. I don't think that that's a person. That's Andrew Lloyd Webber. We're so far off base here. Ew, and you guys can see where the backdrop, it's like where the freaking sidewalk <laughs> ends over here. Okay, uh, can we zoom? Can we get a zoom? Ugh, help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing wrong here and I'll get back to you. It's time for your makeover. Let's see how this works on our wonderful wing hair. Okay, did you guys see that? Probably not. Ooh, what is this doing? It keeps like talking. <gasps> oh, because I think I've been filming for longer than 30 minutes. Um, so it's starting to be like, I'm dying, plug me in. I backed you guys out, just pretend, pretend like you didn't hear that, pretend like you don't see this, pretend like I'm not a hot mess for once. I just need you guys to pretend a lot of things right now. Here we can see a pretty wavy segment. You see that? You see those waves? You see them? It really does straighten quite impressively, and I am really not squishing the hair, if that makes sense. I feel like I really have the tendency to press the hair in between the two straightening plates really hard when I'm straightening my own hair. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. I know it's probably very damaging, uh, but that is just what I have the tendency to do. But with this, you really don't have to do that. You can just lightly clamp the hair and it straightens really well. I do feel like I'm having a little bit of a tougher time getting to the actual like scalp up here, but I think it's just because it's a wig. So they do say that this is meant for absolutely all types and textures of hair. And I have not watched any other videos on YouTube of any fellow creators testing this product out yet. I just watched the actual like Dyson infomercially kind of video. I don't ever watch anyone else's review on YouTube before I test it out myself because I just like want to have my own thoughts and opinions on the products that I'm testing out and not just basically like have somebody else influence my opinion of what the product is gonna be like. <laughs> I almost didn't finish that statement there. I have seen like thumbnails of other creators. So if you have a hair texture or hair type that's not like mine um, and you wanna see how well it works, I am honestly very curious. So now that I'm done filming my own video, I'm gonna click on some of those as well because I am really curious if it works this instantly and this well on you know all different hair types because if it does you guys <laughs> i have mixed feelings about this only because it's 500 dollars. i feel like i'm having a lot of fun styling this mannequin's hair right now this is almost like calming to me in a way basically i feel like the only con against this product is the price tag. If you are somebody that uses a hair straightener every single day, I would love to see this um, tested on different hair textures where I know sometimes um, it can take longer to straighten different types of hair. If you have curlier hair, if it dramatically reduces the time spent doing that. I love the cordless feature. I am somebody that just has like a bunch of makeup and drawers pulled out all the time. It's not like it's a major inconvenience for me to have a hair straightener that is plugged into the wall, but I have like 
tripped over these things while doing my hair and makeup more than I'd like to admit. So to have it be completely cordless, it is, I feel like, easier to use. I feel like it does do exactly what it describes. It really does corral the hair right in between the plates. Um, I never had a section of hair squish out on either side. I feel like this product is much more similar to the hair dryer. It's very, I don't know if intuitive is the word that I'm looking for, but it's easy to use. It's pretty much like uh, dum dum proof like me you kind of can't mess up using it and it gets the job done this guy uh, very challenging never really got it to work so I don't know there's that that is the end of today's video I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below I feel like all of the Dyson products the designs they're very sleek they look very luxurious they feel very luxurious but it is always that price point that always just gives me a little bit of hesitation but I can't say that it doesn't really work it does really work it's just hella expensive anyway thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all again very very soon bye